You see these in the background? These trees? That's what I want to share with you today. Morning, guys. How are you? It's Easter Monday, and I am hoping that I don't look or sound as tired as I feel. I spent the weekend in the country. I am back home, and my garden needs tending. Of course, today I want to share with you the trees that I have growing here. All right, so the first tree I want to share with you is not one that is actually growing in the garden, but just outside of the garden. This is one of my Aki trees. Now, this tree has been cut back so many times. It has fruit maybe about three times already. The fruits are usually very, very large, and the tree has torn down twice because of how heavy... Um, the fruits are for the young young tree maybe it's about four years old yeah and we've had to cut it back several times plus it tore down now what i wanted to show you is that last week i was in the garden and i noticed a bit of blossoms and today i decided to check out the blossoms only to see that hey the tree the fruits are growing rapidly because if you check this out a week ago these were just blossoms and now they have actually grown into young fruits i love aki you know it's our national dish i can saltfish but i love aki with red i love it with saltfish i love it with corn pork jamaicans will tell you aki versatile we make it in seasoned rice yeah so family as promised what I'll be sharing with you today is the trees I have growing in my garden. Now, I noticed that when I share the cherry tree, it don't show the fruit as well as, you know, we see them with our naked eyes. But I have three Barbados cherry trees growing in my garden. The leaves, they're actually sparse now because they dropped leaves and put on blossom. The trees are loaded with blossoms. And there's actually fruit ripening in the trees. No, I was actually gifted these three cherry trees, and I have actually started gifting trees from them. I haven't, um, what you call air layer or anything, but they set under the trees. Sometimes you'll find blossoms, or uh, even in the containers you'll find blossoms growing and i tend to give those away if i don't throw them away because i really don't need more than three cherries now my garden is not as beautiful as some persons where the floors the ground is clean and whatever because the dirt in my garden is so terrible i allow the leaves to just drop where they are and rot because i need to build the soil my plan really is to have fruit food and fruits growing all over this garden and so i need to improve the garden soil the dirt the ground yeah i need to get it better anyways the next thing i have i had some other trees growing you'll see here i have some palm on the ground i took them out to out a couple when i was um, making this um, fence wall and I had to take out the one where see where the green still showing I had to take that one out because it was touching on my neighbor's um, light right there so I had to take that one out um, not that they asked but I know the dangers of it so I took it out anyways um, the next tree I have growing here is this coconut tree now I love coconuts. I love jelly. I love coconuts and I love jelly. Um, this tree struggled a bit because when my neighbor's wall was being built, it got damaged. And the person who was building the wall, they gifted me a coconut tree as a replacement. I'll show you that one in a little bit. It's here in the garden. Quite honestly, in Jamaica, we hardly prune back our trees. <laughs> You'd hardly find us with dwarf trees, though I think we're getting more into the dwarf trees here. But you hardly see that in this country. Um, 
we tend to have our trees growing huge now this is a i think it's called java plum but in jamaica we call it black black um jamaican ibina. now yeah that's what i have growing here it's never set fruit i'm looking forward to having this this is about six years old or five next i have one of my beloved fruits again and this is a jackfruit i think i love this tree more than any other tree because of how resilient it has been this tree has gone through hell and back it's actually one of the oldest tree i have growing in my garden it's about six or seven years old and you wonder why it's so small when I, I planted several of them and I didn't have the wall at the time, I had a chaining fence and I came home to see it and several others of the trees I planted broken and tossed about. Um, but this one, the others died, but this one decided that, hey, come hell or high water, I am making it. This tree has actually been transplanted so many times as well until I gave it its permanent spot here. I'm looking for the day when I taste the fruits from this tree. Never mind the glare of the sun, guys. It's early morning. The sun is just coming up. All right, so next I have another Aki tree. You can see the, the trunk of the tree, how small it is. It's the same age as that one down there. I actually transplanted this one from the first tree I showed you. But this one struggled. It struggled so much. It only recently set fruit, and I think maybe there was about six Aki on it overall. Um... But it's doing better now. You can see that it's spreading off and it's living its best life. Next, I have this citrus tree. I'm naming it Stress for now because I think it's at a, I think it's at a autonic or if it's not autonic, it's um, it's uh, a lemon. My family and I are voting on lemons because. I think those are the seeds were um, thrown in the pot, but we really didn't mark it, and now we're not sure. But <laughs> we have several of these citrus trees that we can't really identify what they are because we're not sure if they were lemon or arsenic, but we are sure that it's one of them. Next, I have this breadfruit tree. I know it's looking a little worse for the wear right now, but I bought this um, breadfruit tree from from um ipro is garden store and it's doing pretty well actually it's growing what i can't wait to see is it um branching off though it's just growing straight in spite of it only having a few leaves it's actually thriving yellow leaf in spite of that i don't usually um include the bananas and plantings i have in my garden because you know these i don't remember the name what they're called the species i'll check what that is um but i don't usually include them but i have bananas down the line there and i have planting i have bananas i'm planting in my yard like in my backyard as well not just here okay so i told you that i have another coconut tree in the garden i actually have maybe about three or four more outside in my yard um i'll show you those in another video but this coconut tree is the one that the gentleman gifted me and i decided to plant it here and it's doing so well this tree is also another of those mystery citrus tree if anybody knows how to identify orange different from lemon tell me please so that i can identify what these citrus trees are that i have here i don't know about the rest of the world um but definitely here in jamaica and uh, maybe in the caribbean we have a saying when people give something with good art it always strive now the person who gave me this is the same person who gives gave me those cherry trees this is a panganat in jamaica panganat for the rest of the world pomegranate 
now I learned something that my tree is good. It's not that it wasn't good. It just kept flowering, but it wouldn't set any fruits. I didn't know that's how pomegranates were actually. So last year it set a fruit and the fruit split through that away. Um, but now I have several fruits and I still see it setting blossoms. I hope those blossoms stays. Here's one of the fruit just hanging out right there. All right, um, in this corner, I'd bought two of these from the forestry department. This is a pimento tree. Um, I bought two of them, one died, but this one is doing well. We use the leaves quite a bit from it in spite of how small it is. Guys, I tend to try my hand at a lot of things. I had mangoes in here. Mango tree, the ju the East Indian mango, the man that cuts the yard, cut it down. So I tend to cut the garden myself or my son now. Um, my son. <laughs> my son, what he does now, um, he covers the smaller trees with a bucket or something before cutting. Because he also cut down a cinnamon tree that we had growing in here. So, um, next right here we have another of these unidentified citrus trees <laughs> this one mm, poor thing um caterpillars caterpillars and i think the slugs keeps eating the leaves which it's like a little sacrificial lamb for me because while it doesn't stop them from eating stuff growing in the bed it kind of you know probably shelter it a little bit yeah um yeah so i think maybe that's it for the trees that are growing in the garden save and except to say i have two more trees two more citrus trees in the yard to transplant i am sure that one is a horn tree but this i'm not sure what this is either and someone gifted me these two trees one is a lime tree and one is a sweet top. I know that some persons call it custard apple, but this one is not a custard apple. This one is definitely sweet top. Um, and they're doing good in their small containers because I've seen new leaves putting on since I got them. But I definitely want to transplant those out. In total, I hope I haven't left off anything. In total, I think I have about 14 trees growing in the garden and that is aside from that is aside from those to be transplanted as well as the bananas and plantains i didn't count those in it but yeah those are the trees i have growing and bearing fruit in my garden guys enjoy the rest of your holiday and uh, have a blessed week. Hi Bella, what's up?